um i had to upload a patreon episode because i missed it on sunday apologies i'm into doing them every tuesday and sunday i meant to upload a patreon episode but i did upload it today so if you're subscribed to the patreon that's why i'm late i just tried to upload it last night.com obviously we're not preparing but i have uploaded it it's my reaction to the recent pete davidson special so if you haven't seen it yet please do check it out as you can see, this is my Patreon page here. Um, various different tiers. Just join the one dollar one, the one pound one. You can access everything, but you've got different tiers here. But if you just unlock this, I usually put it on everything anyway. And I've got the recent reaction. So my reaction, sorry, to the Pete Davidson comedy special. Um, so check it out if you haven't already. Subscribe to my Patreon. Link should be in the description. Um, it's patreon.com forward slash Agostino. Patreon.com forward slash Agostino. Join for as little as one dollar, one pound per month to get access to all of my Patreon posts available on there and if anything ever gets taken off my main channel if ever everything gets like nuked that's what i'm going to do i'll just upload it on the patreon and it'll be available for free now you can do like free posts on patreon so if anything ever gets deleted from my flipping um youtube channel i'll just upload it for free available on the patreon so don't don't worry about that i found a way to kind of make sure that i always get the content because sometimes i play copyright material on these live streams and it gets nuked so there's always a place for you to get it if you want to watch it after the fact but check out my pete Davidson um, review um just to give you a little synopsis and a little teaser on what i think it was pretty bad pretty pretty bad i'm not gonna lie pretty fucking bad like Gringo Pappy levels are bad. Dude, everything they eat, bean cheese, 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 like the hell man, we're just gonna carb load year round. Gringo Pappy's levels are bad. Like I really can understand, I've said it many times in a review. I can really understand a lot now why Brendan does stand up. I completely understand why Brendan does stand-up comedy. I completely understand why he doesn't quit. I completely get it. Because if I'm Brendan, I don't care how bad I am. I'm never quitting when Pete Davidson exists. I don't care how bad Brendan is. If I'm Brendan, I am never quitting stand-up comedy if Pete Davidson exists. He's actually funnier on SNL than he is on stage. Did you hear me? He's actually funnier on SNL than he is on stage. I swear in my life, I think he is. I think he's better on SNL. In SNL, he's pretty one-dimensional. He just plays a version of himself, right? But he's actually better on SNL than he is on stage. How is that possible? Because he's terrible. And you know what? This goes back to what I said before. I don't think you guys are right. When you guys in the stream chat tell me all the time, oh, Agostino, um, podcasting is what ruins stand-up comedy. I don't think you guys are right. I disagree. I think stand-up comedy ruins stand-up comedy. I think in general, stand-up comedy is quite similar to DJing, the stuff that I do, the stuff that I want to do as a profession, in that I think the, 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 like, the majority of DJs out there are terrible, similar to the majority of stand-up comedians are terrible. But the gap between terrible and good is super wide. But also, similar to DJing, the most famous DJs aren't necessarily the best DJs. And I think the same thing is occurring in stand-up comedy. Just because you're the most famous doesn't mean you're the best. And actually, the most famous comedians out there are just famous more so than they are good at comedy. They're well-known. They have a big fan base. And that obviously parlays into stand-up comedy. But, are they, but does their comedy match their fame? Does their comedy match their pool? Kevin Hart is a good example. One of the biggest comedians out there on paper sells sells out arenas. Does Madison Square Garden ten dates or whatever back to back? But is Kevin Hart really that funny? Is he funny? Is does his funny match to his level of star power? Of course not. Similar to Pete Davidson. Pete Davidson might be one of the most famous comedians out there. Maybe even more famous than Dave Chappelle in terms of people knowing who is his face. I honestly think, I honestly think, I honestly think that's the name of the game. That's the cheat code. The cheat code is get famous, not get good at what you do. That's what I've been missing, even with my, um, with my aspirations of becoming a professional DJ. I've been focusing more on the skill and the talent and being good at what I do. That's all well and good. Anyone can really get good at something. It's not that much of a... I don't know if that makes any sense. That sounds crazy. I don't think it's actually that difficult to get good at something, right? Just 
put you know put some time to the side and focus and di be diligent you know be humble um you know be what you call it be self-critical all that sort of shit right be open to criticism um have good people that you're kind of following whatever it may be cool but i think the, you know what's harder than being good at what you do trying to be famous because look how many people out there are trying to be famous look at fucking bgl bgl's committed his entire life to try to make it in hollywood and it hasn't worked out for him and on paper bgl looks like somebody that should be famous put aside how crazy he is bgl if you looked at him he looks like somebody that should be famous he should be in some sort of tv show somewhere he should be like some freak that's in the background somewhere he should be on something but he's not how many bgls are there out there like people who failed you know and haven't really made it but they're now pursuing their career on social media exactly so i think the actual harder thing and bjo is proof bjo probably has more talent in his one strand of gray hair than brendan has in his entire body but guess what brendan gets paid way more and is actually getting paid for his craft and his art way more than bjo does that's the proof of it i think the key is to become famous again this is one of my terrible hot takes that i'm probably gonna live to regret and you guys are gonna remind me about it later but i honestly think the key to making it in life is less about being good at what you do and more so about being famous because i watched this pete davidson comedy special and i was just sitting there thinking what are these people laughing at are they laughing at the jokes or are they laughing at pete davidson the guy they like the guy they follow the guy they adore the guy they look up to the guy they're infatuated with saying funny things is that what they're really laughing at they're laughing at the guy they like saying funny things as opposed to easy saying funny things and it brings me back to that point Thea Vaughn one time on a podcast I think he was talking about Brendan in a kind of roundabout way when they first were getting you know close and whatever and doing King of the Sting I think he couldn't figure out why Brendan was so famous or why he was getting such you know why he was selling so many tickets because if you remember the beginning of the relationship Thea wasn't doing as well as he's doing now so obviously now he's obviously surpassed Brendan but before he wasn't and he was probably still trying to work out in his head like how is this guy doing so well when he's so shit and then he, he figured it out aloud on a pod he was like you know what people just want to see him they just want to be in his presence because they like brendan they like they see him on a podcast they see him on rogan they just want to be in his presence early on that's why they go into the shows obviously that doesn't last because if you're not good at what you do people will stop going but i think i honestly think that's the key and again maybe i'm fig maybe i'm like figuring out the most obvious thing ever and i sound like an absolute div i sound like an absolute idiot i understand that but watching this pete davidson special i had an amazing epiphany i was like bruh i've been wasting time trying to perfect my blends perfect my mixes make sure i have the right sequencing of tracks make sure the levels are good making sure the camera's positioned in a certain way i'm uploading it a certain way but blah, 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 blah. that's not important bruh i just gotta get famous i just gotta get i just gotta pull if when not if when my channel becomes like a hundred thousand subscriber channel and i start getting a hundred thousand views million views on my videos i could probably play anywhere i want to play i could probably play anywhere i want to play because of my pool because people will see my views they'll see my dj live streams get like fifty thousand views hundred thousand views plus and they'll be like you know what we want to book you at our club because you look like you get views so we think the views might translate to ticket sales ticket sales translate to door money at the door money at the door translates to money in the owner's pockets money at the door translates to fucking bar spend clerk room all that shit i think that's the key because p davison wow wow I swear on my life, this special was no better than Gringo Pappy. For those of you who've watched it in the stream chat, tell me in the stream chat, this special was no better than Gringo Pappy. Yes, it was filmed better. Yes, Pete Davidson's way more charismatic. Yeah, he's way more like charming. Um, he's way more likable, all that stuff. But bar for bar, joke for joke, this special was no better than Gringo Pappy. I don't care what you guys say no better than gringo happy no better it was so fucking bad i was sitting there thinking what watch the reaction on, on my patreon watch the reaction i'm si halfway through i start talking about the cinematography i start talking about how it's directed like oh this it was shot pretty well i like that it was in black and white that's how disinterested i got watching this fucking thing check it out if you haven't already check it out on my patreon but it's absolutely garbage wow
hot fucking garbage and prove to me that I think in general stand-up comedy is just one of those things like DJing you just have to experience it in the moment you have to be there I just don't think it translates well I don't I don't know what it is about I think the majority of people just don't they just it just does I don't know I don't know I don't know I don't know but wow I'm questioning my life decisions after sitting there watching that so yeah let me know anyway let me know when i clip this later in between take your time if you haven't already if you want to check out my patreon you can check it if you want to watch it yourself on netflix you can whatever you want to do check it out and let me know am i bugging out or was that comedy special just as bad as gringo Pappy? please let me know because maybe i'm overreacting maybe i'm doing the whole black guy thing oh he's, he's white i don't i'm not gonna laugh whatever who knows maybe i have my prejudice maybe i have my biases i don't know but let me know what you think because I thought that special was trash, was Trinidash, like so bad, so fucking bad, doo doo caca, like horrible. And I couldn't work out why because I was like, hold on, he's quite funny on 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 SNL. He seems like a cool dude. He seems like a you know a lad about town. And I didn't. And the other thing that fucking surprised me. He's 30 years old. He might be the fir- the oldest 30 year old. The oldest 30 year old I've seen in my life, bro. This guy is 30. This guy is 30 years old. Free zero. He's aged like shit. God damn. 